What's good, YouTube? Hey, hey, hey. I'm here today with a highly requested video. Like, oh my days, niggas been on my dick. All right, cool. Today, I'm about to help you lots out, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna put you lots on game. Obviously, I know you've seen the title. I know you've seen the title. Today, I'm gonna show you how to get free from dreads like mine, you know what I'm saying? Niggas been fucking with my hair. Can't lie, a lot of people have been liking my hair. So I'm gonna show you lots how to get this hair, you know what I'm saying? Niggas been shouting me on TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, everywhere, you know what I'm saying? But hey, I'm gonna put you lots on game. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new. Join the first team, you know what I'm saying? But hey, I'm gonna get straight into this video. If you want me to be honest with you, you only need like three things. And that is this. I don't know how these lot do it. What are you meant to do? This? Wait. Yeah? You need a sponge, a hair sponge, you know what I'm saying? For the hair. And you need a pick or a comb, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm gonna take you step by step through what you what you gotta do, you know what I'm saying? Now, first thing you wanna do at the very, very start of your lock process, wash your hair. Just wash your hair out. So wash it out, wash it out. Let it dry, comb it out, bang. Now your hair is normal. Bear in mind, I started my journey when my hair was low. Like when I had no hair basically. But not, not when I had no hair, but it was kind of, it was like, it was kind of short, you know what I mean? But cool, after you do that, you're gonna put, I bought this, I like this because it has the consistency of lotion. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like thick, it's not like, it don't feel like wax, like, it's actually like cream. Obviously, I put it in my hair, I take it like this much, maybe like a bit more, like this. And I just went, bow. I just put it in my hair, just circ circle it around, you know what I'm saying? Get around, make sure you get it in your hair, you know what I mean? This is just to help you look, like for your hair to start looking, you know what I mean? Obviously I put on my hair. Obviously, yeah, cool. I put that in my hair. And I just got the sponge and you just gotta go bang. In a circular motion. I can't lie, at the start of your process, you gotta do this for a while. You gotta do this for like five minutes. Like sponge your hair for like five minutes straight. Don't sponge it too hard, you get. Don't sponge your hair too hard. Yeah? Let me even take off my grow so I can talk properly, hold on. All right, cool, still trying to get used to those. But hey, don't sponge your hair too hard, you get. You need the sponge, just go in a circular motion like this. Lightly, I like, I like a medium type of, don't push down too hard. Just gotta sponge it in one direction and always remember that direction. Don't switch directions, don't go clockwise and then the next day go anti-clockwise because it's like drilling a nail into something and then drilling it back out. Like it's not gonna tangle, it's not, it's not, going, to, it's not gonna lock up, you know what I'm saying? Now, this is where the comb comes in place. The comb is for picking the hair. Obviously, after you sponge your hair, it might look a bit flat. This is what you do. You put it into your hair and just pick it up a bit. Just pick it very, very lightly. Just pick it. You get, I've got some lotion in that part of my hair. But I've, I'm at the stage where my hair's kind of matured now, do you get? I'm not gonna lie, the process the, the journey is way better than actually getting to where you want it to be. Right now, my, my hair's kind of matured. I don't really have to comb it that much. I mean, I don't really have to sponge my hair that much anymore. It kind of locks up itself. You know what I'm saying? So I can I can sponge my hair less times a day now and it's still perfectly fine. People have been asking me the question, what happens when I sleep and my hair, I wake up and my hair's flat? What do I do? Now, there's the thing about having free-form dreads. I actually find it easier 
Because with freeform dreads, yeah, you wake up in the morning, your hair's all over the place. Or it's like, it might be a mohawk depending on how you sleep. It might be squished, it might be like that. With freeforms, all you gotta do, for me, at least, all I gotta do is this. I promise you. All I do in the morning, I wake up in the morning and I literally just go, I just do that and it goes back to normal. But for people that are just starting, it might look a bit worse. So all you gotta do is wake up in the morning, shower, get out of the shower, get your sponge, just sponge it. It will go back into place, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, you have, you see with freeform dreads, you have to trust the process, I'm telling you. Me, I was like, nah. I got to a stage where my hair, I was like, it's not gonna get to where I want it to be. Like, it looks so bad. But I, listen, I'm so happy that I actually carried on with the process because I'm like, right now, I'm actually happy. Like, bro, I get, I'm, I be walking down the street, random people be like, I like your hair. The white people, the black people, any type of ethnicity, everyone's like, oh, I like your hair. Even, listen, for the, for you guys, let me just put you on game as well. For the guys that are trying to, you know what I mean, trying to stand out from other, everyone else, this is even the hair to get, I'm telling you. There's not a lot of people that have this in the UK at least. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, bro. They want to touch your hair. They, the females, they want to touch your hair. They want to, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you know what I mean? Well, what, I like your hair, like, let me touch it. Oh, all of that, I'm telling you, that's free game right there. As soon as you put, get this hair, you just gotta let them touch it and you can go from there, you know what I'm saying? I'm just putting you on some free game right there. But hey, listen, let's get back into this video. Look, so obviously, you just wake up, sponge your hair, your hair's back to normal, I promise you. Washing your hair. At the start of this process, you're used to washing your hair every day. Now, freeform dreads, you can't, it's, it's not recommended to wash your hair every day at the start. Do you know what I'm saying? At the start of the process, don't wash your hair every day because it's basically, you're basically just reversing the process. You can't wash your hair. Like you, I'd recommend washing your hair like once a week. Once a week, if your hair stinks, obviously wash your hair whenever it stinks, wash it more times, but preform dreads are basically clumped up hair. It's hair that has been clumped up. If you wash your hair, the hair, kind of comes back together, they form, they come back together. So it don't really make sense. I'd say just make sure you keep your hair clean. I don't really use this anymore, I'll be honest with you. This is, by the way, if you lot can't see it, it's Sheer Miracle Twist and Lock Smoothie. I like the smoothies better than the gels because it's not thick. So it runs through your hair easier, easy to wash out. It doesn't leave any build, there's no, there's no, there's not really much product build up, you know what I'm saying? Now, I just use like oil. That's something else I wanted to say as well. Make sure to use oil. Don't use this every day, by the way. Don't use this like a hair cream. This is just to remind your hair that it's trying to lock up. So I'd say use this once, maybe twice a week. Other than that, you can use oils just to keep your hair moist. I use this like a mixture of olive oil and I think like castor oil or something. But I, I never had no, I, this is no hair growth. Like, I, I, all my hair is organic. I never tried to speed up my hair growth, all of that. I'd say use like an oil, any type of, like I'd say olive oil is the best, isn't it? Use olive oil, just put some in your hair so your hair just nice and moist and it still, it, it still looks good. My free forms are healthy, I'll be honest with you. You might see in the camera, it might look like, a, it might look weird in the camera, but I'm telling you, it's just the camera. It looks, my hair is very, very good. I just got a shape up as well. Not a full trim, but I just got a shape up. But yeah, man, I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty much it. I'll be so honest. Freeform dreads are very, very quick and easy. They help you stand out from the crowd. You know what I'm saying? And freeform dreads can, you can, go, as soon as you get freeform dreads, you can grow your hair and you can even turn it into barrel twists. You can get actual dreads. When I wash my hair, you guys don't even wanna see how my hair looks when I wash it. On wash day, when I wash my hair, now I wash my hair like, between me and you, if you want me to be honest with you, maybe once every two weeks, maybe. 
but my hair is in very very good condition my hair does not stink my hair smells good i know how to take care of my hair so i don't need to wash it this process that i'm doing i can actually start washing my hair frequently though because my hair is already formed but i choose not to because i know that my hair is good you know what i'm saying you see yeah when i put hot water on my hair my hair flattens into dreads but i don't like how they look in it so i go pick them up but oh yeah i forgot to tell you cold water cold to lukewarm it has to be on the side of cold don't you wash your hair with warm water because it's, it makes your hair soft it tangles up cold water it still keeps your hair rigid you know what i'm saying so you still keep the free forms but that's literally it all you need for you to get some free form dreads is a hair sponge hair comb to pick out the hair and i'd recommend this for starters you know what i'm saying but yeah man i'm gonna show you i'm gonna give you lots of 360 on my hair you know what i'm saying because a couple people might want to see but yeah there's my hair obviously you can see the separation turn around Ooh, oh, shit. but yeah, man. Obviously, that's how my hair looks. But I'm telling you, you gotta trust the process. I've been, I've been since December. Right now is this December. Yeah, it's been, it's about to touch a year. Let me, let me even check my, let me even check my phone. Let me tell you when exactly. By the way, look at the time. It's 1 a.m. 1 a.m. And I'm here doing a video for you, lost. Better subscribe. I started my journey, my freeform journey, on the 4th of December. And right now, I'm recording on the 3rd. So it's actually about to touch a year tomorrow. So, quick summary get yourself a comb, an afro comb, like this. This twist and lock smoothie, sponge and try to get yourself like some oil, natural oil, just, just to keep the moisture in your hair. Sleep with a bonnet on. Anytime you wake up, all you gotta do is sponge your hair. Wash your hair once a week. At least if your hair stinks, wash it more times, but try and make sure your hair's not stinking, your hair should not be stinking. Wash your hair with lukewarm to cold water, so it keeps your free forms rigid. Don't use warm water, it's gonna soften your hair and your hair's gonna go back into that afro that you started off as. But yeah, when, when you're washing your hair, make sure to use soap. Get into the roots, really wash out all the products, all the products that's been building up in your hair. Make sure you go into the roots properly. As I'm doing right now, as you can see, make sure you do it. You gotta act like you're scratching your hair. Go get down, wash it out. If you're trying to wash it the next day, just to make sure that there's no like, put, like remaining soap on your hair, do that. Make sure it's cold water, you know what I'm saying? But that's literally it. Getting free forms is not that complicated. I've made it the simplest possible. All you gotta do is sponge your hair every day without combing it out. Done. I could have literally just said that. Hey guys, it's Belzo. How to get free from jets? Sponge your hair every day without combing it out. That's literally it. You don't need to comb out your hair. But yeah, free from jets is using a sponge without combing out the hair. People say, call it semi free form because I'm using a sponge. It's not actually free form. People say this and that. They're free form dreads, okay? And they look very good. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you're new. If you want like a little wash tutorial of how to wash your free forms, let me know. If you want any other tips, let me know. But subscribe to the channel, you know what I'm saying? One.